Russell Westbrook being traded this season is a big time possibility, especially if the Lakers keep struggling. Going into this year's NBA season, a lot of NBA fans out there believe the Lakers would be a top tier team. They would be a top team in the West, but as of right now, they are the complete opposite of that. The Lakers right now are struggling to get consistent wins, they are losing must win matchups there and there, and a lot of the blame right now is being put towards Russell Westbrook. For this video, we're going to be talking about the scenario that the Lakers plan on trading Russell Westbrook. He's going into free agency this offseason with a player option, and if the Lakers don't want him, they're going to trade him during this year's NBA trade deadline. To all of you OG and passionate NBA fans out there that love nostalgia scenarios and nostalgic situations, you're going to love this. What's going on guys, welcome to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. My name is Soom and I make basketball videos every single day. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this trade scenario video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Trust me, it will help out the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about this Russell Westbrook trade. If I'm gonna keep it real, for this video, we're gonna dream a little bit here. We're gonna be dreaming about a potential scenario that would literally shake the NBA. The NBA would go insane if this were to happen. And that's me talking about the possibility of Russell Westbrook being traded to the Brooklyn Nets, being traded to join Kevin Durant and James Harden. For those who don't know, James Harden, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant were previous teammates on OKC, and this big three in OKC went to the NBA Finals in 2012. An important thing to know is that in 2012, Russell Westbrook Harden and Kevin Durant were not as good as they are right now. So imagine if those three reunited and went for a true championship run. If they can do it back then when they weren't that good, imagine how much they can do when they are really this good. Ever since being teammates, they weren't all MVPs, but over the past 9 seasons, James Harden, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook all became MVP at least once. And with the value of these superstars being so high, the magnitude of a trade of them rejoining, it would honestly make NBA fans go crazy. As of right now, the Brooklyn Nets are comfortable as the first seed in the Eastern Conference. It looks like they're going to finish out this season as the best team in the East. And what's crazy to know is that right now, they're only doing it with Kevin Durant and James Harden. When I say this, I'm pointing out their third superstar of Kyrie Irving. So far this season, Kyrie Irving has not yet to play a single NBA game. With the NBA this season coming out with the rule that all NBA players must be vaccinated to play, Kyrie Irving is being firm in his values and religious beliefs that he is not going to get vaccined and so far, he does not care if he's helping the Brooklyn Nets or not. He's going to stick to his core values. As much as I do respect Kyrie Irving for his beliefs and his values and staying firm to what you truly feel, I'm all about that. But honestly, right now NBA fans, you do have a job. Kyrie, you have a job. And honestly, we're just waiting for you to come back. I believe on the Brooklyn Nets perspective, right now without Kyrie Irving, they're pretty good. But with Kyrie Irving being a very special asset, but also a very expensive contract asset, oh boy, right now the Brooklyn Nets are in a deficit. They are losing good value that they could have. And that's why maybe they're also trying to trade Kyrie Irving. We got this news a few days ago from Kyrie Irving and it was reported by Sham. Sham says this, Kyrie won't play basketball unless he gets traded. The report goes deep and says Kyrie Irving is nowhere closer to getting the vaccine and he's not going to play basketball unless he gets traded. Because unless the Nets come up someday and say fine, we're going to let you play road games, we're going to let you practice at home, we're changing our stance. Or unless Kyrie Irving decides to get the shot. As of right now, it looks like Kyrie Irving is firm and with New York having a very strict mandate, it looks like things aren't going to change unless Kyrie does something about it. With the Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets both having their own problems they have to deal with, whether it's a Russell Westbrook struggle or a Kyrie Irving not being active, I do believe a trade is definitely on the table for both teams. And if I'm going to be honest, I got a trade that I believe could potentially work to send Kyrie Irving to the Lakers and send Russell Westbrook to the Brooklyn Nets. This would be insane. Before getting on with the trade, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Thank you so much, FanDuel. If you're a big fantasy sports fan and you love winning prizes, FanDuel is perfect for you. They offer so many options when it comes to the NFL, NBA, NHL, and so forth, and offer a bunch of variety of different games for us to enjoy. 
If you're a beginner, no need to worry because they offer tips for beginners and even offer many free games to play. Of course, my favorite part about FanDuel is creating my own roster with my favorite players and of course beating my friends. So you guys gotta look into that if you're super duper interested. If you guys are interested, I have a special promo link down below for you guys to download FanDuel and if you sign up using my link down below, you will get an extra 20% bonus to your added funds. Thank you so much once again FanDuel for sponsoring this video. You guys are super duper awesome. If a trade were to happen, this would have to be the deal. It would be the Lakers offering up Russell Westbrook, Kent Bazemore, in exchange for Kyrie Irving, Bruce Brown, and Javon Carter. The reason why this trade makes sense is because Russell Westbrook is on a very expensive $44 million contract, and on the other end, Kyrie Irving is going to pay $34 million, while Bruce Brown and Javon Carter just fit salary matching. And right now, with Kent Bazemore not getting any playing time with the Lakers, of course, he's on a veteran's minimum deal and helps the assets when it comes to salary matching as well on the Brooklyn Nets perspective. As of course, if they lose a superstar of Kyrie Irving, they want some decent assets in return, and Ken Bazemore brings that NBA experience, and the Brooklyn Nets will love that extra help needed. On the Lakers' perspective, a reunion of Kyrie Irving and LeBron James would be incredible. If there's somebody in the NBA that would set Kyrie Irving straight, I do believe it has to be LeBron, the face of the NBA. And of course, with them two being previous NBA champs together in 2016, I do believe that chemistry would be active. And of course, Kyrie Irving's playing style just fits LeBron's better than Russell Westbrook, because Westbrook can't shoot, while Kyrie Irving is very clutch and a reliable shooter. On the Brooklyn Nets perspective, I honestly believe that Russell Westbrook just fits better with Kevin Durant and James Harden simply because he's an elite playmaker, a pass first personality player where Kevin Durant can focus on scoring and Harden can also be the secondary scorer. Russell Westbrook throughout the past few seasons have said he does not have to score 30 plus a game. He wants to be a triple double threat and be an all around factor offensively and defensively and with the Brooklyn Nets right now not having a third superstar because Kyrie's not active, bringing in Russell Westbrook could simply send them to the top where they already are, but even higher. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, this would be an awesome, awesome scenario. I will say this though, I'm not 100% sure if the fit will 100% mesh right away as well, because of course, when they were teammates before, they all had different playing styles, and now with all three of them being number one options technically on any given team, of course, a lot of sacrifice would have to be made. Maybe James Harden will give up the ball more. Of course, Kevin Durant, I believe, would still be the main scoring option. Well, Harden has now become more of a playmaker himself. So that's also the question, will Russell Westbrook and James Harden in a way, find a way to mesh where they can still both be playmakers, but of course still be effective as they're both very ball dominant players. Of course though with James Harden and Russell Westbrook not having a championship, I do believe there's some sacrifice that will be made and if anything has to be made. So yes guys, this wraps up my video today, talking about the possibility of Russell Westbrook being traded to the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie Irving being traded to the Lakers. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe this is a realistic scenario? Do you believe this would ever happen? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy. God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!